Hello viewers, welcome to Open Heavens Reflection, which is based on the devotional written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Vasea of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Biodo Bisheson, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Stillwaters in Colchester. Our topic for today is the Lord my healer. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. A memory verse is taken from Psalm 147, verse 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Our reflections. In our reading for today, the Lord was making a promise to the Israelites as they escaped from Egypt a little earlier. I'm sure that the Israelites saw in their eye, in their very eyes, the calamities, disasters, and the sicknesses that came upon the Egyptians. They also knew that the Egyptians experienced these things majorly because of the disobedience of Pharaoh, their ruler. However, the Lord calmed the fears of his people by promising them that they would never be afflicted like the Egyptians were if they were willing to be obedient children and do those things that would be considered right in the sight of God. Of course, we know that the Israelites were never perfect in their obedience to God afterwards. That notwithstanding, what I'm excited about is the truth that God called himself their personal healer, their own personal physician. He said, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Dear listener, God called himself his people's personal physician at that time. He can still be your personal physician today. And God said to us in his word in the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. It therefore follows that this same God who called himself the personal physician of his people, who is the unchanging God, he is still the personal physician of his children, even at this present time. Indeed, through the manifestation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, God is still performing his unchanging role as a personal physician of his children till today. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ was a healer of all manners of sicknesses and diseases and afflictions. There was not a sick person that encountered Jesus Christ that did not receive healing. After Jesus Christ went up to heaven, his disciples continued to be the tools which God continued his role as a student's personal physician. The name of Jesus Christ still commands healing upon every sickness and disease. That name has been given in order to uproot every root of sickness which the enemy plants into the lives of his people. Is the devil afflicting you with any sickness or disease? I encourage you to rise up. Disconnect yourself from any sinful lifestyle which you are presently living in and call upon the name of Jesus to come and take over your life and become your personal physician today. Remember, at his name, all knees bow. Call upon that name and command every knee of sickness and disease to bow in your life. Amen. Our prayer point, Father, Destroy every root of sickness in my body, soul, and spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, and please have a good day.